Say, man, what's going on with Lord Jamar? Lord Jamar has been getting increasingly reckless with his language over a range of different topics. Most notably and most recently, he was on a platform where he just completely bashed VP Kamala Harris, denigrated her, called her out of her name, and just, I mean, took her down through there, bro. And it wasn't even necessary. Well, Mark Lamont Hill was on a panel with Piers Morgan on the Piers Morgan Uncensored show. It was him, uh, Lord Jamar, Candace Owens, and and and, and again, as I said, uh, uh, Mark Lamont Hill, which is a, a political commentator, and he's a brother. And he put a check on 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 Lord Lord uh, Jamar about the comments he made about the VP as it wasn't called for, bro. You dig what I'm saying? And then the rationale he used was just didn't make any sense at all. I mean, he was stepping all over his message and contradicting himself at the same time, man. So let's get to the content. Mar, though, my brother, calling her, and again, I heard a bleep. I, I'm, I've, been, I've been in the hood a long time. From that context, it sounded like you were calling her the B word. I couldn't see it, but I heard it. I'm not going to vote for that. Bleep sounded like the B word. I can't imagine a circumstance where we need to call her that. You know, in, in real life and in, in, in music, and in, in, there's just no reason for that. She doesn't deserve that any more than she deserves to be told that she does. she's not qualified to run a Dunkin' Donuts. Those types of comments, I think, are unnecessary, when even if you might agree that black people shouldn't be sheep. How does she disrespect you? By placating to me, by giving me uh, word salads and all kind of nonsense, acting like she doesn't have to answer questions, being the artful dodger. That's very disrespectful. You think Very she deserves to be called a, a, a B for that? Well, listen, first of all, the platform I was on was a different kind of platform. We was, you know what I mean? It's 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 a much looser platform. Hip-hop orientated. And if she wants to get down, act like she's black, well. She is black, man. Called, she is black. That's the other piece. I, I don't want to interrupt Candace. Black. I know she's Candace got stuff black. to say. She's I want to hear Candace. Black. I'm sorry. Me, well, she is black. All, and you're being and true. you're being particularly hypocritical, bro. Bro, you've black. been Can real me, hypocritical. Let me, let me clear two things up. First of all, Pierce, you had a guest on named VJ or something that said I never voted or something like that. I don't know where he pulled that out his ass from. But yes, I have. Voted high, yeah. before. Mm -hmm. I actually voted for Obama uh, the first time around. I got caught in that nonsense. But um, also that comment that you're showing me was not in response. So uh, I'm not going to take a whole lot of y'all time with this commentary. Because I, I don't really traffic in next level ignorance. And I'm not going to dumb myself down to go down a rabbit hole to no end. But I, I will say uh, a couple things. Uh, he, here we go again with the Kamala Harris is not black. And we know better than this is black people. It's a lot of black people in this country, in this world, that has mixed race kids. And we know that anybody black that has a child by somebody of another culture or another race, that child is a mixed race child. We know this. The world will see that child because one of those parents of that child is black. The, the white population in this country will see your mixed race child as black. We know this. So it's just... Like, ignorant, bro. Next level ignorant. And we're trying to be cute by just trying to disassociate her from being black because, well, I don't know. And number two, uh, his rationale for denigrating uh, VP Kamala Harris the way he did was, oh, well, well, you know, she I, when I feel disrespected, I disrespect people. Uh, I mean, she, she, she dodged questions. Uh, uh, I mean, she, she, she talks and she gives these words salads and, and, you know, she, she doesn't really answer any questions and, 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 and she's not qualified to work in a, a, a Dunkin' Donuts. Um, uh, I'm sorry, my boy, but have you ever watched any Trump rally where he's never in the history of politics gave a coherent answer to any question that he's asked? A guy that stands up in front of thousands of people and can't even follow a, a, a coherent 
thought. I mean, seriously, bro. Like, we getting real cute out here in these streets, bro. Behind this election, bro. And a lot of folks showing their true colors, bro. This man, he'll say a lot of stuff, but he ain't the only one. I mean, it's a lot of people in our culture, bro, that's following these same narratives, picking up these same talking points and trying to find any re reason they can to not support this black woman and, and at least give her a chance. You dig what I'm saying? And, 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 and furthermore, Lord Jamar, since you had never heard uh, Trump uh, demonstrate an uh, actual word salad, I'm going to let this clip play just for you, my brother. Fine. Um, to get to you on the other side of this, take a look. We are the piggy bank that everyone wants that someday we will continue along the path. We've been really it's been an amazing path. It's been a horrible period of time, but almost the last four years we will be. I will tell you that uh, if I get elected, we will be a piggy bank stronger than ever before, but we will be a fool no longer. And I have more complaints on grocery. The word grocery, you know, it's sort of simple word, but it sort of means like everything you eat. The stomach is speaking. It always does. And uh, I have more complaints about that bacon and things going up double, triple, quadruple. They built a very big plant. Uh, many countries, they do that. And then all of a sudden you hear that they're leaving Milwaukee or they're leaving wherever they may be located. It's very sad to see it. And it's so simple. I mean, you know, this isn't like Elon with his rocket ships that land within 12 inches on the moon where they wanted to land. Or he gets the engines back. That was the first I realized. I said, who the hell did that? I saw engines about three, four years ago. These things were coming, cylinders, no wings, no nothing. And they're coming down very slowly, landing on a raft in the middle of the ocean someplace with a circle. Boom. Reminded me of the Biden circles that he used to have, right? He'd have eight circles and he couldn't fill them up. But then I heard he beat us with the popular vote. I, I don't know. I don't know. Couldn't fill up the eight circles. I always loved those circles. They were so beautiful. They were so beautiful to look at. In fact, the person that did them, that was the best thing about his, the level of that circle was great, but they couldn't get people. So they used to have the press stand in those circles because they couldn't get the people. Then I heard we lost. Oh, we lost. No, we're never going to let that happen again. But we've been abused by other countries. I mean, um, I wouldn't even call that <laughs> the weave. I would not grace that with the phrase word salad. That just made no sense. And I just don't understand anybody right now who could watch him talk and say, yeah, I, I, he definitely makes more sense than the alternative. Like all these people, I was watching the news yesterday, flipping around and hearing hosts whining, Kamala Harris needs to do more. Okay, more than everything she's doing. Fine, give me your ideas. But what? I mean, watch the alternative for two minutes. Grocery, the stomach is speaking, Elon's rocket ships, cylinders, circles, beautiful circles. What the hell? I mean, that's like an epic weave that he talks about, but his weaves aren't brilliant. You know what he's doing? He's getting through the moment as an aging bullshit artist, okay? He's just getting <laughs> through the moment and insulting Detroit to its face. Stay tuned to the end if y'all want to hear Lord Jamar's sorry ass apology. And this is why a lot of these people look like hypocrites and complete idiots. Because it's a whole projection game going on here, man. It's a whole Jedi mind trick going on. Because they know everything they see in Trump, they project it onto Kamala Harris for one reason or another. And then Candace, he's sitting on the panel. Lord Jamar is sitting on the panel with Candace Owens as if she has any kind of credibility in the black community. And then she's sitting up there like she's watching. I mean, you could have gave her popcorn because she just enjoyed sitting alongside this white man and watching these two brothers go back and forth about the complete disrespect that was unwarranted against Kamala Harris. 
and but this is what what but this is um uh Candace Owens habitat. She loved this. She loved to paint her face up and and, and go on these shows and and denigrate and disparage and and just and, and and just make our community look completely terrible, bro. And we got problems in our community just like the white people got problems in their community. Hell, what's wrong with them? When they got kids that go to schools and do what they do. You dig what I'm saying? Our kids ain't doing that. So yeah, it's it, it's problems that need to be solved and need to be fixed in, in, in all of these communities. But we have never seen somebody from another culture go sit with another culture like Candace Owens do and, and, and a plethora of brothers that's had that that's that's done signed up for this gig, apparently. And and go sit down with these white folks and, and talk about their own kind the way they do. And it really don't even be a legitimate rationale behind it. As you seen Lord Jamar. Oh, he said what he said about Kamala Harris because uh uh when when he feel disrespected, he disrespect people. Okay, you should feel very, very disrespected by Donald Trump and the things that he done said about people in this culture. You dig what I'm saying? So, I mean, it, it just it just don't make any sense, bro. And that's where I'm at with that, point blank. Because I don't respect when folks do stuff like this, bro, and when you don't even really have a legitimate reason. You can't lay out a legitimate reason to why you don't like this woman. And then to disrespect her on that level and that be your reason? Come on, bro. Give me a break, man. Knock it off, bro. So that's where I'm at with that, man. I'll get at y'all on the next one, bro. Y'all be smooth. I'm out. This is Lord Jamal. I recently come under fire for calling Kamala Harris out of her name. Uh, and as a man, uh, I'm going to admit when I was wrong and that I did cross the line. Yes, I shouldn't have called her. Uh, the names that I called her and uh, after watching it myself it definitely was cringeworthy and I would like to just extend my apology to her and all those that felt offended by my comments um, yeah you know we have to really be mindful of where our words can travel to and just like a bullet once you release them it's hard to take them back